Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to set up Webhook inside Chargebee. So as you know that Chargebee is a subscription management platform designed to handle recurring billings, invoicing and revenue operation. It helps businesses streamline their subscription processes, manage customer life cycle and gain insights into the revenue streams. So by integrating Chargebee with any another application using Webhooks, you can automate many aspects of your billing and customer management workflows. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Webhook inside Chargebee using Pabli Connect. So what is Webhook right over here? So Webhook acts as a bridge between different applications whenever a specific event occurs. So now to set up Webhook inside our Chargebee, we are going to use this workflow window. And as you can see that we have trigger an action right over here. These are the two main principles on which our automation works. So here you can see that trigger means when this happens and the action means do this. So by this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and action follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so where we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this you can understand that the trigger commands the workflow and the actions are response towards that command so now we are going to select that trigger application which will be charge b because we want to set up a webhook inside charge b so i'm going to search for charge b right over here and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now after selecting my trigger application it is asking me for the trigger event so i'm going to select the trigger event as new subscription over here you can see all the trigger events you can create this automation with you can see new invoice card expiration new customer update customer new subscription update subscription and over here you can see the details of the trigger event in the help text too where you can see for the new subscription it is trigger when a new subscription is created trigger when a credit card gets expired you can see all the trigger events you can create your automation for you can see new payment subscription pause subscription react activation over here you can see the new payment source you can see all the trigger events so you can add a webhook of any one of this so i'm going to create this for new subscription so i'm going to select this event we are going to move on forward over here you can see that it is giving me a webhook url so we are going to use this same webhook url in order to create a connection between our chargebee account and our pabli's workflow so to do this first we are going to copy this webhook url and then we are going to follow the help text and it is saying log in to your chargebee account from the left side bar go to settings and then configure charge b scroll down to api keys and webhook section so we are going to follow this step first i'm going to put my charge b account and over here you can see that this is my account and i've already logged in it so it is always advised to log in your applications before starting with the automation it makes the procedure easy and now what we have to do is we have to go on the left side bar and the settings and over here you can see settings so we are going to go on this and then configure charge b and after opening this we are going to scroll and look for apis and webhook section and over here you can see api keys and webhooks so we are going to open this webhooks and as you can see that it is saying set up webhooks in charge b so now we are going to click on this button which says add webhook and as soon as we are going to click on this we are going to go back to our workflow and now it is saying click on add webhook button so yes we have clicked on it and now it is saying enter the webhook name copy above webhook url and paste it into charge b webhook url field so now i'm going to do this i'm going to give it the webhook name as test so i'm going to enter it and now for the webhook url we are going to paste the webhook url URL we copied from our workflow and after doing this it is saying protect webhook url with basic authentication so if you wish you can definitely switch this on and protect your webhook url but i don't wish for so so i'm going to leave it as blank it is asking me for the api version so i'm going to select it as this only and now it is saying events to send so now over here you can see that it is saying select the event as subscription created so i'm going to select the same event which is subscription created so i'm going to search for it subscription created and we are going to select it and as you can see over here are all the events we had in our trigger event events right over here which you selected in your trigger event too suppose you are selecting invoice updated over there then you have to select invoice updated right over here too so i've selected it as new subscription so i'm going to select it as subscription created and now after doing all of this we are going to click on this create button so as soon as we are going to click on this create button yes you can see that we have successfully created a webhook over here you can see that this is my webhook i've created and over here we are going back to my workflow and now it is saying you can test the webhook from test webhook button so i'm 
going to click on this test where we can test the connection that we have created. So I'm going to click on test URL. And yes, you can see that successfully received OK response from the webhook. And yes, you can see that we have received the response right over here also. This means that we have successfully created a connection between our Charge B account and our Pabli's workflow. So now what we are going to do is we are going to click on recapture webhook response because we want the response of the new subscription created. So now it is saying waiting for the webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record. So in order to capture this webhook response, we are going to do a test submission. We are going to create a new subscription. So to do this, I'm going to open my page. And now you can see that this is my page and now we are going to do the test submission. So I'm going to select the quantity as one only. We are going to go and proceed to checkout. Over here I have selected the basic monthly plan. Over here I'm going to enter the email address as this demo at the rate pablitudes.com. And then we are going to click on next right over here. And now it is asking me for the first name. So I want the first name to be demo and last name to be user. And for the email we have selected demo at the rate pablitudes.com. And then we are going to go on next. And now it is asking me for the billing details so i'm going to enter it as same only first name demo last name user you can see the address new street over here you can see the city the zip code and now i'm going to select a state right over here which is madhya pradesh and the country as india and after doing all of this we are going to click on next right over here and as soon as we are going to click on next it is asking me for the payment details so i'm going to select my card and click on next again and yes you can see complete your order over here you can see all the details and now we are going to click on pay rupees 400 and subscribe so i'm going to click on this and now we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to look that we have successfully completed our order or not. And yes, you can see that it is saying your order has already been submitted successfully. So yes, we have successfully submitted this order. And now what this means is that as soon as I submitted this order, automatically charge we captured the response of this order and sent it to our workflow with the help of the webhook URL. So I'm going to open my workflow and check for the response captured of the same details. And yes, you can see that we have captured a new response, response B. And over here, you can see the same details that we entered there. Over here, you can see the state. You can also see the news free which is the address you can see first name last name country over here you can see the city we're going to move on forward you can see all the details that we entered right there so yes with this we have successfully set it up a webhook inside charge b and now what we can do is suppose that i want to send these same details to my crm so i can add a new crm right over here in my action application to send the details over there so you can add any another action application right over here as per your requirements so yes we have successfully created and set it up a webhook right over here in our charge b account and this setup not only saves you time but also enhances your ability to maintain accurate and organized customer data so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching